What's up, y'all? I'm here at the uh, studio, going to train. It's, uh, it's been a <coughs> really busy day, uh, mainly clients, but um, I had some other stuff to get done. Uh, website stuff, quick stuff, um, family stuff. So, you know, still got to get in. So uh, it's 9.30 and uh, I'm just going to come unlock the studio and I'm going to go train push. What the fuck? Heavy push today. Um, didn't take any pre-workout, but I did take some um, onward by Run Everything Labs earlier. So um, a little bit of caffeine in my system. Uh, get this place unlocked and let's make some gains. Some late night gains. Man, I'm looking forward to some post-workout. <laughs> Yeah, I had planned to shoot a workout video, but I don't know, I just got in that mood. You know when you just, uh, you just want to train, you know? Um, just wanted to get it done. Uh, so, I, I and you know, it's I, I do get it done, like when I, when I do my training videos or whatever, I just like <clears throat> set the video going, ask someone to film, and then do my thing. But, um, you know, you have to like set the camera up, and I, I, just, I just wanted to just focus, get in the zone, just do it, and not think about uh, any sort of like, social media gains. Uh, so that's what I did, had a good workout. Um, deloaded push, uh, which is something I haven't done in a while. Um, but yeah, not too bad. I'm gonna head home, get my, oh, I'm so, I need carbs. I'm gonna get my carbs in. Um, then I will shower and I think, I need to cook some chicken as well. So I'm gonna have to cook some chicken and then go home for Mother's Day. Uh, and some eggs, need some eggs. It's gonna be a late one tonight. What's the time now? It's gone 11. So, um, yep. It's Mother's Day today. Going home to cook for my mum, uh, which means I'm training early, so I'm heading to the studio again. Uh, Going to open up, nice early, get training done, uh, so I can leave and go home. But uh, it seems like I literally like, just got out of the gym, post-workout bed, straight back to the gym. I love this shit, babe. Hey, what the fuck? In all seriousness, this is awesome. Here's an interesting point. It's useful for a uh, bit of advice. And that is, there is always time to fit in your training. Whatever your training is. Whatever sport you do. The President of the United States, Barack Obama, trains for an hour every day at 5am. So, if he can do it, <clears throat> and he's running one of the most powerful countries in the world. You can do it with your nine to five or whatever it is. Um, everyone has other commitments. You've got family, you've got work, you school, you know, university, um, friends, your budgie, whatever. But you can fit it in. Pull today. Looking forward to some, uh, some pull up action. I don't think I'm going to uh, film any of it again. Like I said, I'm, I'm deloading this week. Um, basically means I'm reducing my uh, weights by about 40%. Um, taking a couple of sets off from the volume. Um, just for a week to let my CNS, central nervous system, recover. <clears throat> to be perfectly honest, I, uh, I haven't done one in... Uh, I think the metric measurement of time would be forever. I haven't done one in forever. Um, and I just, I really needed to, uh, you know, I was, I was, I was enjoying the gym, Enjo like, I always enjoy training, but I was just feeling a bit, uh, like, grinding it out, you know, so, preparing for a photo shoot is always going to be a little tough, but um, you, you enjoy the process, but at the same time, when your joints start aching, you, know, you start losing out on sleep, um, there's a couple of warning signs, if you like, that mean you should probably, um, I mean, it's just, it's just for a week. It's easing off on volume and intensity. And rather than taking like a full break or, you know, like keep going, wait until you injure yourself and then be forced to take time out. I'm still training. It's just uh, you remove the element of failure. And a lot of studies actually shown that failure doesn't actually mean that much. 
and that you know if you train sub failure it's like 90% of your 1RM or 70% of your 1RM or whatever for however many reps you're supposed to be getting it's kind of the same deal but uh, obviously I'm going way short of failure on a deload but it's kind of a better than nothing approach so I'm going to jump on the train get to the studio and um, hope you have a good train and then uh Make my mum some food. I hope you didn't forget your mum. Happy Mother's Day, mothers of the world. Make children gains. If I live, I will kill you. If I die, you are forgiven. Such is the rule of honor. frustrating it's actually it's harder to not push to failure it's, it's harder to just stop it there because like what was that I'm pretty sure I could be asleep and do that that's pen though right see this is why I wouldn't normally I mean I say normally I haven't deloaded in ages I can count on one hand the number of times I've done it in eight years but so I wouldn't normally film it it's so boring I mean look, look at these plates they're, they're so small so tiny, I'm gonna have to, I can't even touch the floor when I pen lay row with them. I have to like pause at the bottom and then bring it up. But I think it's important for you guys to see because like, I always recommend people take deloads. Uh, and then I, it's one of those things that I don't practice what I preach. I've, I'm always like, no, 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 just push forward, just push forward. So I've gotta be kind of strict with myself to hold myself back sometimes and be smart and train smart. You know, because sometimes you just wanna get in there and just smash the weights or whatever. And it's not like that, you know? But, as boring as this is, it's an important concept. So uh, I'm glad that I can show you guys. is a deload is a really good opportunity for you to work on your form so uh, there you know I could really trying to feel the contraction in the muscle pulling my hands apart really engaging the lats it's a good time to kind of take stock on what your forms like because sometimes if you're always trying to progress in weight you can gradually let the form start to run away with you so uh, this is a good way to like bring it back reset it and then you know just make sure you're doing everything correctly in a nutshell either reduce volume by 40-50% or reduce uh, intensity, i.e. weight by 40-50%. or Either a little of both. I take it, vo uh, intensity down, so weight down by about 40%. So all your weights, just times them, all the weights from the last week, just times it by 0 0.6, then get the same number of reps. And maybe like take a, take a set off here and there, just to make sure that the central nervous system isn't getting taxed too much. Heading home now, just prep some amino acids. Can't go without the branch chains. Catch you next time. Remember to subscribe for more of these gains.